Hello, my name is Ron Bloom, and in addition to being a lifelong diehard Yankee fan, I am privileged to chair the Board of Governors of the United States Postal Service. The Postal Service is, I think, a great match for our honoree. The United States Postal Service is a uniquely American institution and a national treasure. And of course, Yogi Berra was a uniquely American institution and national treasure who knew how to deliver. Year in and year out, with clutch hitting, field generalship, and clubhouse leadership, he delivered world championships to the millions of my fellow Yankee fans around the world. And while those who don't love the Yankees are many, no one did not love Yogi. For those who only know Yogi Berra as a beloved national icon, and he certainly is that, consider this about his Hall of Fame career. He was the American League's most valuable player three times, finished second twice, and third on another occasion. He played in 14 World Series for the Yankees and was on the winning side 10 times. He managed both the Yankees and the Mets to the World Series. He was a terrific receiver as well. Pitchers seldom shook him off. And at one point in his career, he played in 148 consecutive games behind the plate without making a single error. So even if he wasn't one of the most quotable people in American history, Yogi Berra is a first rank Hall of Famer. In a way, the Postal Service has its own version of the Hall of Fame, our commemorative stamp program. And with this stamp, we are doing our part to ensure that Lawrence Peter Yogi Berra will be remembered forever. At this time, we're pleased to present the Yogi Berra Forever Stamp. So many factors went into making Yogi Berra a national icon. First of all, there's his Hall of Fame excellence as a player. Then there's his interesting life story coming out of St. Louis, the Hill section, Joe Garagiola living on the same street, and of course, all the Yogiisms, the great and famous quotes. But in addition to all that, decency. Decency runs through Yogi's entire life, and it was something that people could sense. He was a kind, genuine, loyal, and decent man. I think Dad is the perfect embodiment of the American dream. Here's a kid who didn't speak English till he was 10 years old. He had to quit school in eighth grade to bring home a paycheck for the family. And four years later, after he quit school, he was storming the beaches of Normandy and involved in the invasion of Northern Africa at 18 years old. He comes back, goes to the minor leagues, gets called to the big leagues, and becomes an incredible Hall of Famer, one of the greatest players that ever played the game. When I got the call about a year ago that they wanted to put Dad on a postage stamp, I was in shock. Being a stamp collector for years, I always thought about Dad being on a stamp. I think the artwork is terrific. It has its brilliant smile. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Being on a stamp, you'd say, what the hell do they want me on a stamp for? <laughs> That's probably what he'd say. That'd be his first reaction. Then we'd explain to him, Dad, you're part of history. People love you. You have to understand that. And he'd go, all right. <laughs> That's it. That would be it. <laughs> to merit a forever stamp from the United States Postal Service, you have to be a significant American, and Yogi Berra more than qualifies. Consider the company he now joins just from baseball alone. Jackie Robinson, Roberto Clemente, Hank Greenberg, and that's just a partial list, a list that includes fellow Yankees like Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and Joe DiMaggio. For decades and decades, Yogi Berra was a true national treasure. And even now, in memory, Yogi remains a national treasure.